also decided to film a day in the life of me because I'm so frustrated right now that I don't think people realize what I'm actually doing and I just complain all day about it but anyways so right now I am doing two sets of lists list means I have to get product for the stores that are here which obviously they're kind of long and stuff like that um, and I, right now I'm in the milk room so I have to get milk for Starbucks and this is on the airfield downstairs and I've already done the milk so let me make sure my keys are here Hold on. I've already done the milk so I'm just going to show you what the milk looks like and how heavy it is and where I have to take it to okay goodness so right now it's getting dark and I have to do this by the time the sun goes down because in the freaking pod which is where all of our stuff is it has no light so I have to get this done before sundown oh and this is the milk that I, ha I just put all right here within two minutes might not look like a lot to the boys but it's really heavy okay so I'll come back to you when I get to the pod which is all the way over there down the airfield okay so I'm finally at the pod and it's my freaking milk that cannot go to waste and now I'm gonna unlock it and get a bunch of stuff that's also heavy all right so this is our pod it looks like a big black hole to all of you probably and it's already dark so you can't even see dude it's already dark so which means I'm out of luck this is the only light I have as you can see and I'm gonna have to pause the rest of this. So I basically have to sift through all this and get more product that everybody wants. So when I'm done with that, I will tell you how long it took me. And yeah. All right, so I'm completely done. And this is what my cart looks like now. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but when you're in the dark of a store, when you're in the dark in a storage unit and you don't know where anything is because people don't put it in the right spot, it's super hard. And that's not even, I'm not even half done, dude. Like, it's not funny. And so I had to lug it halfway across the terminal to the stores that need it. And I will get back to you on my next video. Now I'm in the elevator, going up to one of the stores. And I have to put all this stuff away. And then take down six of these back to where that milk room was. Now I'm going to put two of these away. I can only do two at a time. And then we're gonna do that and then go back upstairs and give breaks to people. Yay, which takes like total hour. Back in the milk room with these damn cards now. That was pretty hard, especially on the airfield. Brandon, my partner in crime, right? Yes. Say hi. hi. Say hi to all my friends. Hi, Lily's friends. Is that someone right there in the camera? No. Who's that girl? Oh, is that just a... That's me. That's a, um, a selfie. Hey, selfie. Um, She's dead right now. Thank I was going to capture... But you're recording right now. It's like Post Gone Wild. I'm recording too. <laughs> Alright, now I have to do muffing. I have to do this. This, this, and this. Okay. okay. So I've already got one done. Actually, two because the front area. Now I have this to go. And that's my mom. Hi, Mina. <laughs> And then um, I have to go back down the storage to get more items because the store needs more. So I'll be back. Okay. All right, guys. Now, after I'm mopped, I have to do the drains. 
you can see that. I took this apart and like do it. I know. Well, I have to do it every day. But anyways, um, so basically, all in all, I am a supervisor, janitor, breaker, and barista, uh, snack bar attendant, all in one. I'm really tired right now, and I, it's like 7.30, and I haven't had a break yet, and I got here at 1.15. Oh, God. Okay. After I'm done with this, awesome. I think I'll stop vlogging, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so look at how gross and disgusting this is. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just so disgusting. It's like, whatever. Whatever floats, their boat. So yeah, I'm not even watching, whatever to get off so I can actually do this right. And so now I'm gonna mop one more time to make sure everything's good. No, she's off today. I did three drains, four floors, three lists for milk and product, and now I have to go down again and get water for California Pizza Kitchen. Now I'm gonna empty the trash. Yay, so much fun. And then, I have to go catch people out. My battery's at 10%, so I don't think you guys will be able to see that, but it's basically taking a bunch of tills out and dropping them in the cash room way across the terminal with a lot more walking. This, I have to, you can't even see me. Alrighty, so here I go. I'm back on the airfield. It's so nice and peaceful right now. I don't know who I'm talking to really. Like it's just me talking to the camera. But uh, British Airways is right there. But people are staring at me like I'm a creeper. So I'm gonna turn this off now. So after charging my battery for about 30 minutes, finally it's at 22%. So I'm gonna go to the cash room, which is across the terminal, and I'm actually gonna show you um, how far it is, so you guys know how far I walk. I go to the cash room about four times a night, and I go across the terminal about six. Here we go. Let me flip the camera over. All right, so that elevator is focus is where I came from. Now we're going this way. Doors I go through. I just noticed that the fucking flash is on.
other side of the terminal, but upstairs. We were downstairs before. We need to get product from another store because we are out on my side. And this is Pete's Coffee, which is our competitors. Stone Brewing Co. competitors. They just got TVs, which makes that even worse. This person's going hella slow. Brookstone, Swarovski, whatever, however you pronounce that. Super far away. Bookstore. So my spot is at gate 22. We are at gate 47. That's far. Moral of the story. And then there's Starbucks right there, which is ours. Not mine, but ours. And then the sky view. There's B. No? Maybe? Oh, crap. Yeah. I was giving John a part of Sesame Street. Okay. Unless you want me to go down there and grab it for you, and then you just kind of... Yeah. Or my apron. Do I have to? Yeah. Okay. Just because it's my apron and it's the principal one you spoke with. Okay. I'm vlogging right now. Are you vlogging? Say hi. Hey. Again. Guess you, what? You're like Coffee the, master book. You're like the second main character in person. this book? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm the second main character in this book. Besides me. Did you know? Might I add? Music's pretty good, by the way. You're listening to Michael McDonald's. I think he was in the Doobie Brothers, I could be wrong. But then uh, they make a joke about Michael McDonald and 40-year-old virgin. But I want to read this to you. Okay. German discovers decaffeination. According to the legend Ludwig Rosarius and Karl Wiemer, German coffee importers accidentally figured out a way to decaffeinate coffee in 1903. One of their shipments of coffee came from Nicaragua. Nicaragua was soaked in uh, seawater. While the taste of brewed coffee was still good, the beans had lost most of their caffeine. Oh, crap. Because they did not want to sell salty coffee, the importers researchers, uh, importers researchers discovered how to extract caffeine using solvents and steam. Oh, yeah. whoop de do. Yeah. There's a complete so waste of So I told you guys that, that story about the slow acidity? I totally mixed that story in with Low City, and that's not necessarily true. My viewers aren't gonna know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's coffee. Look at it. <laughs> coffee master. Yeah. Big whoop. No, I'm just kidding. Big whoop to me. Alrighty, so can you go get my product, please? Okay. Oh, uh, I got Ernix, by the way. Thanks, B. You know what is? Yeah, I do. I have yeah, a bunch Ernix. of that. Oh, and I, and I got. You gave me some, right? Yeah. Yay, thank Although you. Although one machine gets... Right. One, the best machine... Gets, gets yeah. it. Hi, have you ordered yet? Um, so this is Brandon's store. Not filled. Empty. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not that bad. We're about to close anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting here for... Just waiting to get my product and then I will go back and start cashing people out which means collecting their tills and then going back to the cash room and dropping them off. This is like a two hour process. I'll be back.
And now I'm walking back to the main store with my products. Now I have to close down California Pizza Kitchen and then I have to make sure that Starbucks is properly closed down as well. Hey! So my battery is at 6%, so I'm going to get this done fast. Um, basically, uh, I went at the end of the terminal twice while you, well, I didn't record that though because my battery is really bad. And then I went to do the tills, which is basically I have to unassign these in each and every store and take their tills, take it to the cash room, sign off, and all that stuff. And I came back here to close up shop at both Starbucks and then the California Pizza Kitchen. And now I'm just making sure everything's locked up and that's it. Um, next time I'm probably going to actually keep the camera on the entire time because it probably didn't seem like I did a lot because I kept stopping it. But it's just really hard to record when you're holding a freaking camera. Anyways, so yeah, and that was my day in the life, which is half-assed, but hope you guys think that I actually do work, because I do, it's really hard and I'm freaking exhausted, so I'm probably going to record a little bit more when I go downstairs to um, go wait for Chris.